After a long week of making major moves and being overall super awesome, I decided to catch up on my favorite YouTuber. Hold on there, bunker. He's hilarious. Definitely check him out. Are your trumpets? But then it dawned on me. How could I have been so careless? Could I have really been this careless? Being as awesome as I am? I had to double check to make sure. But it was even worse than I thought. It had been almost two months since I made a Drake tutorial. So in today's video, guys, I'm just going to show you guys a really simple kind of formula to make Drake type beats. Regardless of your skill level, after watching this video and just following each of these steps, you should be able to pump one of these beats out pretty easily. So yeah, let's get into it. We're actually going to go through a beat that I already started on today. First thing when you're making a Drake type beat, and this is kind of just a key in general for when you're making beats, is you want to make sure you're selecting the right types of sounds. And so for Drake type beats, everything's a lot more kind of smoother, lower frequencies, more so like softer pads, like softer kind of darker keys smooth kind of synth sounds. And for this beat here today, I'm actually gonna just be using sounds from my One Shot Kit DaVinci. I've been using this kit for like the past three weeks, so feel free to check out my other videos if you wanna see like what it can do. But the first sound that I'm gonna be using is just this owl organ right here. And so it's a very like soft kind of smooth synthy organ sound. Next thing to mention is just like the chord structure for a Drake type beat. If you look here, it's actually a very simple chord progression that I have going on. This chord progression is super similar to the Girls Want Girls chord progression. But basically what you're going to want to do is, one, you want to make sure that you're using kind of like bigger chords, so like seventh chords. I want to just make like a simple triad, um, which would just be like something like this, like an A minor chord. as that's gonna sound kind of too thin. Another thing that you're gonna wanna do with your chord progressions is you wanna keep it you know, really simple like this. Like if we look right here, this is actually the same chords repeating themselves. The only difference is I pulled this note up an octave and that kind of just makes it sound a little bit different. So let me just play that so you guys can hear. And now listen to how this sounds over here. And just doing that and doing that little thing makes it sound like it's a totally different chord, but it still fits really well in the progression. So just keep that in mind when you're creating progressions. And there's actually a few different patterns you can kind of use in terms of chord progressions for Drake type beats. And you could do something just like this, or you can also do something like this where it's, you know, every bar there's a different chord. This is like slightly less common. And then you can also just make it so every two bars is just a different chord. So something like this. And just, you know, just try it out and play with different progressions, but you just want to keep it really simple overall. So next thing I ended up doing was I just copied that same kind of chord progression. However, I used this piano sound. And again, this piano sound is in like the Drake style where it's like, you know, lower frequencies, relatively softer sounding, like not like a harsh attack or anything like that. That sounds too plucky. And this is just the Hope Piano from my One Shot Kit, because I know a lot of people always ask me, like, what sound are you using, et cetera. Now, the next sound you want to add to a Drake-type beat is like a full kind of bass sound. What I mean by that is just something that's really, like, deep sounding and kind of, like, big. So, for example, we listen to this submarine bass that I have from my One Shot Kit. Something like this is perfect. And now let's just listen to it. And all I did here was I just looked for the root notes of each of our chords. Now typically, when you actually build a chord, it'll be the bottom note. 
But what I did with this chord progression right here is I transposed some notes, which means, like, for example, the regular chord looks more so something like this. And then I just pop that note down there. And so it's still the same chord, but it sounds a little bit different. Here's how it sounds. So super simple, but really gives us that Drake vibe. The next thing you can add, and this is kind of like completely optional, as it stands right now, we could probably do like a full Drake beat with just what we have right here. But you can also go and use something like Arcade or, you know, get some vocal chop somewhere and add just a little bit of vocals, kind of just to add some additional texture and like background noise into your beat. So I just added this sound from Arcade. It's called Insurrection. I literally just put one sequence that repeats um, twice. So here's how that sounds. And you just want something with like a lot of reverb that almost sounds like it's kind of in the background. And now onto the drums. And for these drums, I'm using my two drum kits, which you can also, you know, get on my website. And there's also two free versions. Because this beat is like 170 BPM, which is pretty fast, rather than adding a bunch of hi-hat rolls, what you're going to want to do instead, right click, and then you can go to fill each two steps like this. And then you can actually listen through and take out hi-hat. So let's just listen. And you can just add bounce doing that. Or you can have it just hitting on every other one. One thing I like to do is play with the velocities a lot, like lowering every other one sounds pretty good typically. And then your snare that you use, you just want it, you know, right here. That's where it pretty much always goes. One thing that is done in a lot of Drake beats is it'll switch between an 808 and a bass line. So right here, we got this 808. Let's just play it real quick. And I added a kick as well. And this kick is basically playing on the same points as the 808, except a few spots the 808's actually hitting. And the kick's not like right here. So for this 808, you just want to keep it really simple. Same with the kick. It allows for, you know, a lot of creativity to be done by an artist like Drake, you know, someone that's very lyrical and someone that also can kind of sing a little bit. You just want to give them as much space as possible. If you're using an 808 and switching to a bass, what you're going to want to go in and do is go to this tab right here where it says cut by. And so this says cut by two and two. You're going to want to make sure the bass line is cut by the same right here, two and two. So basically what that means is sometimes when an 808 is playing, like even after the note is done hitting, you'll still like hear it. And so by having it set to cut by the same number as the bass line, whenever the 808 is playing, as soon as the bass line starts playing, the 808 immediately cuts off. Right here, I always like to center my kicks in mono as well as my 808 and then my bass line since this is a lower kind of sub i also put it down there as well and then if you look on like my effect chain because i am using sounds for my one shot and i already made them so i wouldn't have to you know add too much effects even though you can you can make cool sounds with effects i don't have to really do anything and then to lay it out i usually just go right here split my channel delete everything over here And then just kind of lay it out like this. And now let's just really quickly lay it out in a very simple way. I'm just pressing Control B to do that also. Select all and then Control B. Let's take everything out right here. Let's arcade come in maybe after. Have it start on the 808. And it's going to switch to the baseline right here. And it's going to kind of pause. Right there. Let me cut that out. Move that sub bass and you have to come back to this bass line right here before it drops into the chorus. Pull this right here.
yeah, like pretty, pretty Drake like. I could obviously go in and like kind of tinker with things and maybe add more sounds as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys on Thursday. Peace.